shave, the second comparison shave between the Pearl and the Parker. Yes, uh, two adjustables. Now, I, I know some people might be thinking, well, it's an unfair comparison, like the Rex. Completely different razors. Well, every razor is different, but it's all about, it's just my opinion about value for money, the performance, um, and, and because the profiles have got to be different, that the blade exposure's got to be different. I can only give an opinion about what's what, how I feel with the shave and everything. And if that helps somebody in that decision or, or whatever, then I, I'm more than happy with that. I'm not comparing them to, oh, like the Rex was like £240 it cost me. And I preferred the Pearl to the Rex. Well, value for money, it's a waste of money with the Rex if I prefer the Pearl. It's a no-brainer. I've used the Rex Ambassador for over a year now. And when I do get it dialed in, it's a great shave, but to me, the Pearl was a better shave. The, the blade angle was spot on straight away. It's an acquired taste if you like the Rex, but once it's dialed in, it's a fantastic razor. Don't get me wrong. So I just wanted to get that clear, just in case anybody was thinking, how can you compare razors like that? So, but hey, here we go. Right, <laughs> how you doing? Are you okay? Right, got that off my chest. I hope you're okay, guys, you know. You're having some smooth shaves. Oh. Right, Pearl Flexi, fantastic razor. Adjustable, two-piece, heavy. I think it came in about 140, was it 143 grams, something like that. Brass construction, whatever plating they put. It's got several coatings, but whatever coating they put in the last coating, that looks like stainless steel. It's a beautiful razor, the dial's superb, smooth. Now that they've ironed all the issues out, it's a fantastic razor. And we're putting it against the Parker variant. Another fantastic razor. They're roughly the same budget. I think this retails at something like 50 pounds, but you get a stand of 50 blades. This, I think, is roughly between 46, 48, 49 pounds, something like that. But you don't get any, well, I think you get one blade. I think you get one blade, I'm not sure. And you don't get a stand or anything like that, but it's nice and flat, you can stand it up. Both roughly the same razor. But you, like I said, the profiles are different. The blade exposure is different. The setting, the gap, the gap is not actually that far away from each other. Lava channels, to me, I prefer the Parker, the lava channels. Profile. You can see this is more shallower. But I know this is a smooth shave. So we'll give that a go anyway. Right, so British Artisan month of August. Um, I'm going with Wickham's for my first shave. Wickham Soco. 1912 Russian leather. Absolutely beautiful scent. Masculine, it's masculine, and it smells just like I had one here. There it is. This is what it reminds me of. Is it, is it the right way? Imperial leather. This is what I. It's it's hand soap. This, the bath soap. This is this is what I use. I don't use gels and everything like that. I absolutely love this scent. It's beautiful, and the brush we're using with that today is the Yaki 22mm synthetic knot and it's the cola buffle handle. I'm going to put in the, that in there to soak. I'm going to soak it in Skeletor, I'll just put it in the sink. The blade I'm using in both razors is a brand new Persona Platinum. Nice average blade. I like them, they're good, they're a good blade. And I'm using the mister today because I want to do as little bending down as possible. And thank you so much, guys, for your concerns and your well wishes about the back. It's a lot better. I'm off the tramadol now. It did its job. I was in work and um, I was getting out the van. 
I was being cautious and everything like that. But this one time I wasn't cautious, I got out of the van wrong and I felt my back go and there was a lot of pain, but then it was just complete ease. My disc had gone back into place, I felt it pop back into place and I've been fine since. So I'm off the tramadol and everything's hunky dory. Right. <laughs> God, I've gone on, haven't I? Anyway, three flicks of the brush, so it's wet but not dripping, and we're lathering out the bowl. Just gather, gather a load of uh, soap off the puck. Yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope you're okay. I tell you what, the weather's changed as well. A fantastic sunshine for a few days. Now we've got rain, we've got storms on the way. There's a storm due tonight. That'll make the wife happy. Mrs. B loves severe weather. Thunderstorms, just gonna dip the tips just that tad. Just gather a bit more off and then we'll have her up. Yeah, she loves um, extreme weather. She's a bit strange like that. But there you go. Right, there we go. I've loaded the brush. That was about 30 seconds of that. I'm going to wet the mush with mist it for a bit of extra moisture and here we go, let's lather it up. Yeah, comparison shaves. I've always thought when I watch comparison shaves on YouTube, I thought, how can you compare that razor with that razor? You can. It's all about pure preference. I can only give you a preference to me. Everybody's different. You could do the same comparison between the Pearl and the Parker or the Rex or whatever and say, you know what you're talking about, the Rex is a far superior razor and it's great. Well, it might be for you. That's the beauty of this hobby. Every shave is different. Every body's different. Every blade's different. Soaps. That's what makes it so versatile as well. Just gonna dip the tips. Great soap, this uh, Wickham soap. Great cushion, great slickness. And in my opinion, again, since I'm, I'm on one, <laughs> it's underrated. I think it's slightly underrated, the Wickham soaps. You don't see a great deal on YouTube and I think and I wish I think it's because there's not that many cents and they haven't changed them for a while I just wish Wickham would come out with some more different scents and I'll leave a link in the description to Wickham soaps as well it's some cracking scents there I have a few of them and they're a great performance so Right, right hand side is going to be the Parker, left hand side is going to be the Pearl. Both on setting three, I forgot to show you the settings. Put my glasses on. There you go, red dot on setting three. The dot, I wish, I think it's because they didn't want to spoil the, the black coat and it's a beautiful black coat it's a great knurling on this razor the dot there it's easy to see but i wish it was red or white or something but i think they kept it black because they didn't want to spoil the look but you can see it right here we go with the grain parker variant setting three persona red first use What I love about the Parker razors though is the blade, the, the, the um, feedback, I was going to say blade chatter, you don't get any blade chatter. This is a solid feeling razor, it's well built. There's quite a few days worth of growth here guys. And it rinses quite well as well, especially with the lather channels. Even though when I did use the Pearl Flexi, there was no problem with the air, the rinsing. I 
thanks for the comments on the unboxing guys I really appreciate it. I enjoyed that it was funny and thanks Jay thanks again Jay you're so kind I really appreciate it and keep an eye out later on today guys There's another unboxing. What I've really been waiting for. So keep an eye out. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. If you haven't already. Look at that. I've still got that bit of from the uh, insect bite. It's healing nice, but it's taking its time. That's a nice first pass with the uh, Parker. Right, Pearl Flexi get a bit of heat in the razor. Same setting, setting three, same blade, both brand new. Let's see how we go with this. Straight away, the Parker has more blade feel. It will do, the profile on the head's different. But I like a lot of blade feel. Completely different feel. The Pearl Flexi feels again smoother than the Parker. Right, let's see after the first uh, the first pass. Dry the hands off a bit. I would say both razors set in three, level par. I think, in my opinion, at the moment on the first pass, the park wins it for me purely because I like blade feel. You might not. Nice little bit of backbone in this uh, razor, uh, this razor, this brush. Feels really comfortable. The hand, the, 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 the style of the hand looks really comfortable. Right. I'm going to leave it on three for the second pass and then against the grain I'm going to change it down to two and I think it was uh, Jim will shave Jim Henson he messaged me and he said try it on the lower settings because it didn't agree with him well I've used it on the higher settings works great so that's why I'm using it on the lower settings as well and I'll give it a um, give it a fair run as well here we go guys across the grove Parker variant set in three still. Now the Parker for me as well. I don't really have to think about the blade angle. It it almost does it itself. It really does. So easy. I'm gonna get into something later on as well about the two razors. I'm not going to mention it just now. Let's go down the middle on it. I've got to get a, a line there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Yeah, with me soaps. It's a shame you don't see so many of them there being used. Well, I haven't anyway. I don't know if you guys have. Here we go. Pearl Flexi. Still the same set in three across the grove. Now on the second pass, blade feel, I can feel it more on the second pass on the Flexi. It, it, it's almost level par with the uh, Parker. nice you can obviously feel the difference in the ways Level part again. They're more or less performing the same. It's just that the feel and the balance and everything else in the race is different. Right, I'm going to turn it down to setting two for against the growth. There's the Parker setting two. Pearl Flexi. Obviously, you can tell with the settings, the Parker settings on the bottom. And the pearl is on the top, and I'm steaming up. <laughs> right. I'm just going to wet the tips just a tad. Yeah, that's better. Slightly, slight, here we go. Slight. <laughs> Slightly wetter application for the uh, against the growth. Slickness is great. The feel of the soap in the skin is great as well. Right, here we go, guys. Parker variants against the growth set in two. I don't think you can hear that. Not too worried about the sideies, because the head shaves are coming soon. I don't want to slice myself up like last time. That's my own fault. Lovely feedback now against the grain of the parker. Gets up to the nostrils easy, no problem. Buffing with this is easy, as long as you're careful. That's nice, that's a good finish. Right, left side, pearl, flexi, set in two, seems the parker, against the grove. Do they sound the same to you? They certainly don't feel the same. <coughs> Excuse me. 
this feels great. It's a, it, it is, it's, it's a lot smoother. So in my opinion, the pill is, even against the park, it's a lot smoother razor. You might not think that. Buffering is easy as well. With both razors, I'm slightly right in the cap. Got it. That's beautiful. That is really nice. Both sides I've, I've missed, whether it's me, technique, or whatever, I can just feel a little bit there. But the usual, the usual um, pickups under the jawline. So we'll do the jawline. And we'll do a little bit here as well, just under the old cheeks. That like wall paint, don't you? Right. Right, Jim, I've had no pre uh, pro no problem on three and two. Let's get it down to one for the pickups. Pearl Flexi, setting one. You can see him steaming up. Parker, can you see that? Setting one. Here we go for the pickups. Right side of the parker. Yeah, you, I can hear it getting the pickups on the lower setting. Rinses out, no problem. Pill flexi setting one. Now I'm setting one on the pearl. I can't feel a thing. It's cutting. That is so smooth. It's cutting. But it feels like there's no blade in the razor. That is nice. I can hear it cutting. And I can feel that it has cut. That's nice. I enjoyed that. Cold water in. Fresh towel. I'm sorry if this is going on a little bit, guys, but. It is a comparison, I, I just wanted to go a little bit more into the razors, about personal preference and the feel. Right, Thayer's Witch Hazel, unscented, and it's almost come off now. I put sandalwood essential oils in to give it a shake. So it's a sandalwood witch hazel. Goes well with the leather. 
beautiful. Not me, the feel, the shave. Right, while that's going off, the two razors, balance wise, I prefer the Parker. It's so much more comfortable in hand and I like heavy razors. To me, this is just slightly too heavy, too, too handle heavy. Balance for me is this. The length of the handles as well, it's obvious like I showed you before. I prefer this and I think that's all about the answer to the balance with the uh, the weight of the head and the length of the handle. This is stocky and it feels stocky in the hand. Handle's thicker than this. I just prefer the handle and the feel of, of the uh, parker. Performance wise, from three to two, level par. Setting one, I preferred this because it didn't feel like I had a blade in it. And I think for it, if anybody's a new beginner or really sensitive skin and everything else, I think that would be ideal. But oh, what would I choose between the two? Value wise, this purely because of you get the stand, you get the 50 blades and it is a great adjustable. But I do like this. I can't decide on the two. I, I prefer this. But I really like this. I'm on the fence with the with both of them. I'm on the fence, right? <laughs> well, that's just my opinion. Blade perform great. I like the Persona Reds. I just don't use them often enough. Right, after shave. After shave, I'm going for little um, travel size is English leather cologne. It's got an optimizer. Oh yeah, I got three of these for five pound off eBay. That's not bad. That's once that will go off a bit. It's with it being leather and the Russian leather. This smells slightly sweeter, but it goes off and it, it calms down. It goes like a. Um, it's like a leather factory. Um, I remember when I was a kid, we went to Spain with my parents and we visited uh, on an excursion, a leather factory, and it smelled gorgeous. That's what the English leather for, smells like to me, even though it's Spanish leather, but the Russian leather, imperial leather, so fantastic. Right, shut up, Chris. Balm. Balm, I'm going with the real shaving coat. Sensitive balm. There's a slight scent to this, but it's really nice. That's all you need. Besides, it's good stuff. Feels really slick, but soaks in really well. I'll leave a link in the, in the description to everything that I've used where I can. I leave a link in the description with any. Um, or the YouTube channels that I mention. And while I mention this stuff, if anybody's new to the channel now, welcome. Um, if you haven't checked out my one year on YouTube anniversary shave, check it out and enter the draw, enter the giveaway. It's a, it, it's a nice giveaway. Um, it explains in the description what you're gonna do, just put hashtag one year. And um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment. But don't forget to give the thumbs up. <laughs> Even I forget. Right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Where's the lid? Wickham soaps, nineteen twelve Russian leather. I've got spots on my glasses. I can't see. Beautiful soap. I look forward to using another British artist. I've got one lined up. Right. Don't forget later on. There's a unboxing video. Exciting stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me guys. If I don't see you later on, I'll see you on Saturday because there's another unboxing video. If not, have a fantastic weekend guys. Stay safe and have fun. Take care guys. See you then.